I've been feeding Azola to my livestock and I've never had any reason to regret it. So far so good, the result has been superb. And what I see is just what I've always wanted. Within a short period of time, at week five, I already sell out because I've attained 2.6 to 2.8 kg at week five, feeding my chickens with Azola. Azola is high in protein, basically crude protein. I mean, basically what birds need is protein for fast growth. You get the acquired weight at the stipulated time at a cheaper price. It doesn't affect egg production. It aids egg production. In fact, far, far better than the synthetic feeds. I use it for more for my local fowls too. And yes, when you see their eggs, you know, yes, this is the work of Azola because the eggs are very nutritious, big and very healthy. Yeah, my name is Yusuf. I'm an organic farmer. I will be setting up a mini Azola farming using this container here. Uh, before that, I need to have my cow dung ready. I have cow dungs here. I added water alongside with cow dung into this container in this form. I make sure the water is filled up into this container. Then another most important thing is your calcium phosphate. This is your calcium phosphate solution. I also added this into the water too. Then I packed both the male and the female spore. Just a little quantity because the container is too small. I added it to the water and that is just the setup. In seven, eight days time, you will have seen it fully spread because it germinates, it grows faster. With the solution I've added to it, it aids the growth and it helps in their development. So this is just the logic of setting up the Azola. Basically, you just go for the female and the male spores, which is going to be added into the water. That is, after adding your water and the cow dung with the calcium phosphate, then you just put the Azola and leave it for days. There are, there, there are vendors selling it. Once you just tell them you need the male and the female spore, or you just tell them you need the spore, it is always together. Both the male and the female spores are always together. Azola does not really like the direct sunlight because it kills the growth. It stops the germination. So it has to be keep, kept in a partially shaded area, just like I have done here. It is not that there won't be sunlight, but it is going to be just the ray of the light, not the direct one. I kept it far away from the sunlight. So with this, you have done a good setup. This is the cow dung. The dried ones works effectively more than the wet ones because the dried ones has no ammonia, uh, ammonia in them. Because ammonia kills the growth of Azola once found in the cow dung. And from years of experience in research, the best calcium is gotten from eggshell. Looking at this, I only soaked eggshell into water for days before I made use of it. And this is just the natural calcium. Very essential for feeding, very good to implement, and it helps reduce cost of feeding for all livestock farmers. As well as can be incorporated into your feeding system at ratio of 60 to 40%. We give Azola 60% and we use 40% of the commercial feed. I have never for once recorded any mortality with Azola feeding system and this should be my seventh year.